Files and what's up, Sussex Squad? Y'all, this is going to be a heavy upload day because I have questions. Y'all, listen, if you guys don't know, Byline literally dropped this dossier, if you will, going back to the moments before Megxit and basically saying Charles, the Royals, William, all the roles they played in it, and a lot of things we didn't realize. We're going to break the information down in different videos, but in this video, right? Come here. Let's do some conspiracy theories because y'all, they talk about Dan Wooten getting information on Harry by people in Charles's office and William's office, okay? Now, a lot of people like to think that William is like this useless idiot. I don't think so. I think he's spoiled. I think he's pampered. But I think him and Kate are 100% in control of their image. Nothing happens without their okay. And they pay attention to what's going on, okay? I don't, I, again, they're dumb, but they're not mindless. Just because you're not successful doesn't mean that you're the, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so let's move on. Here's the thing. They talk about when Dan Wooten didn't like William, hated him, thought his attitude sucked, thought he was full of himself. And then something happened in 2019 to completely, right? Uh, to completely um, change his mind. Y'all, and people are saying that it's the Rose Hannibal story. Let me just read you this excerpt and then we're gonna do conspiracy theory because baby, I'm starting to believe those rumors that are going around that Rose's youngest daughter looks just like Charlotte and it's not because Kate and Rose look alike because Wolf and Harry up to that point were very protective of them. And I'm sure William had all his mess, but you know brothers, you know sisters, he had his mess, but he always looked out for Harry. What was he so desperate to hide? so desperate to cover up that he would throw his beloved brother and only living relative. I know everybody's like, oh my God, he just wanted Harry to be the scapegoat. I get that. But something changed where he threw him to the wolves. And it wasn't just the fact that he was married to Megan. It wasn't just the fact he was married to Megan. Let's get into this, right? But hit that like and subscribe button. I am trying to grow. You guys know every now and then I'm like NPR, always doing like a pledge drive, right? Um, always doing like a pledge drive and whatnot, but, um, it, you know, hit that like button. It's free. And you know, I entertain you guys. Okay. Listen, where are we at? Okay. On March 13th, 2019, y'all paying attention. Dan Wooten published an article in the sun about the alleged falling out between Prince William and Kate and Rose Hanabry, right? And her husband, David Rock Savage, whom the paper dubbed Kate's rural rival. The reason for this are not clear. The article was subsequently removed from the Sun's website, but remained widely reported elsewhere. I remember that up to that point, William was like, never complain, never explain, never do all this stuff. And then I remember, sorry guys. And then I remembered what happened next, right? He came out and said, I'm suing everybody. Everybody can catch this heat. Even Kate had her head down like, mm, I'm on your side. I'm on your side. He was ready to let that. He was spraying up the building, shooting up the club. Right? So the former friend of a former friend of Wooten's told Byline Times, if you can, they go support them. I think they have monthly memberships. I signed up for like $3.65 a month or something. Uh, well, pounds a month with just like $5. You can cancel at any time. They do do great exposés and really dig through the muck. So it might be worth your time. Anyway, they said a former friend of Dan Wooten told Byline Times that the journalist, journalist allegiance appeared to quickly shift from one prince to another. They said Dan hated Prince William until around May 2019. Behind closed doors, he didn't have a good word for William. He was always talking about his attitude. But Dan never criticized Harry, really. He never even seemed to have much interest at all. Then suddenly, in the summer of 2019, he switched. Basically, he was hating on Harry and Meghan. He had previously been obsessed with Prince William. And then he switched to the Sussexes. Y'all. 
it has been rumored why this happened, right? What is the rumor? Dan got conclusive evidence that there was an affair. This is the rumor that there was one of the many rumors that there was an affair. He literally had this whole piece ready to go. They contacted the palace for any type of, hey, what do you have to say about this? That's when William basically did a catch and kill, which is when you catch the story and either pay them or trade something so that the story will go away. Around that time, the negative coverage of Meghan and Harry went into overdrive. There was leaks, there was this, there was that. Meghan and Harry up to that point had been the golden couple. Now, here's the other rumor that I think plays into this, okay? Around that time, and even now, there are persistent rumors that Rose's children, especially her youngest daughter, look remarkably similar to Kate Middleton's. Now, I know what you guys are saying. Well, Kate and Rose look alike. They do, but they don't. They look like they're from the same tribe. Tall, skinny, lanky, you know, whatever. But they're not. They're not. You see what I'm saying? They're not. They don't look alike enough for your children to look alike. So what happened? What exactly happened? What could make your only brother turn on you in such a quick about face and not look back? What could make him literally throw his own mother under the bus? Remember when he was called around that time, he was calling his mom paranoid. Nobody should listen to her, basically calling her a liar and said that everything that she said that the crown did to her was not true. What could make you do that? Think about it. No, seriously, think about it. Because William became someone even unrecognizable to his own brother. William was always pompous. He always had rage. He was always spoiled. Harry didn't care. He stayed by him. What changed? And I know now I'm starting to think that whole thing about an affair. I don't think so. Because William's been rumored to have affairs with a lot of people. He even goes and visits his one college girlfriend once a year and can't, can't come. Jekka, Craig or whatever. And listen. William does what he pleases. He's always does what he pleases when it comes to Kate, always. That's why he waited nine years to marry Kate because he wanted to make sure that Kate could suffer every single indignity and still be there. Kate's always turned a blind eye. The fact that this was a woman she thought was a friend, Kate would still not give up everything she's worked for just to start an argument over that. Like he keeps Kate in check. So what made Kate so furious? She said, no. And what made William so desperate that he sold off his brother, Megan, what the streets were saying, and also literally threatened to sue everybody, went to war with Tatler. The, the, it was pulled down for everywhere. Why did that happen? You guys, could it be he wasn't trying to hide an affair? Could it be he was trying to hide the fact that there might be illegitimate children out there? Could he be trying to hide the fact that the one thing that Kate took pride on, being the, the broad mare for the British royal family, being the conduit, 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 conduit. Why did we forget that word? Being the conduit to which the, the future bloodline flows through was destroyed. William, again, Kate might have agreed, fine, you can cheat on me. Fine, you can cheat me bad. Fine, 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 fine. I understand. That's what we do. But having an outside baby, that to me, if it's true, would trigger Kate going ballistic, would trigger Kate losing her mind. Remember how Kate was walking around looking despondent? Remember how the queen who never get, well, there's been so many rumors about William cheating on Kate. So many rumors. His vacation, she's not allowed to go on, the boys trips, the pictures. That's not new. Kate literally had her soul broken for nine years. She sold her soul so she could like literally wear <laughs> czar blazers and not have access to the queen's money. But honestly, the queen who up until then had never really taken a particular liking to Kate thought she was lazy, thought this, that, never given her any honors, inducted her into the highest honor of the land. 
out the blue. Out the blue for no reason. Why would the queen do that? What would make Kate and everybody at that time that was watching it was like, listen, we don't know what's going on, but it literally looks like Kate is at the end of her rope. She's about to go bye bye. She literally looks like she is out. She would be sitting in church, just rocking back and forth, thinking like, was it all worth it? She looked despondent. Now, we don't know what's going on in her head, but this is the way she looked. To the point of the queen offered her something to show she was a valued member. Charles started bigging her up. Literally, but she still couldn't stand to be around William. Wouldn't even let William touch her. Rose then did articles humiliating. What would make Kate, after she sacrificed everything, her parents begged, borrowed, and still stole, if you believe, all the posters and Buckleberry to get her onto that point? What could even pierce her eagle eye reality of becoming the next future queen of England and shake her to her core? Was it an affair? Or all the rumors about there being an outside baby? And again, these are rumors, right? Are they true? Do you not find it odd that even though Rose is the Duchess of Chomley, I'm, I'm sorry, the Marquinez of, or Marcia, I don't even know how to say her title, even though she's like this the whole thing, head of state, but does anybody find it odd that we don't have any pictures of her children at all? Not at events, not in public. It's almost like her pictures of her kids have been scrubbed off the internet. And I understand she might want to keep things private. But who in 2023 is that private? Especially with rumors going around that your children look remarkably like the royal family. Let's go right now. Rose Hanabury's daughter. Has anybody seen a picture of her? Have we? There is not one picture of Rose and her daughter. Again, I find one when she's very, very young that she looks very much like Charlotte, but there is not one picture of this little girl. So what's really going on? Y'all, the more they open up, the more it makes me think, what made William throw his brother under the table? What made Kate so close to leaving? This wasn't just an affair, something more happened. And I think we might've decided what that something more was. If you do find pictures of Rose's daughter, um, I'm not going to post them because I'm not going to post pictures of children, but can you send me a link, tisatels at gmail.com? Because I'm actually interested to see what is going on. There's something deeper and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Anyway, guys, listen, I'll debrief with the other stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to you later. Bye.